is up you guys, I'm Charmix, today I'm going to be reacting to five scary ghost videos that will scare anyone by New South 5. It'll obviously be quite spooky, and uh, yeah, anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description, make sure you guys go subscribe to New South 5, and without any further ado, let's begin. Top 5 Ghosts, Call on Camera, The Thing in the Basement, the oh, title boy. of the YouTube channel, Donnie Drunkard, may seem a <laughs> what? What kind of name is that? It's one way to, uh, class yourself, I guess. If that's his last name, he definitely got screwed over on and on that, you know? I'm a bit comical, but the content of the channel is anything but. You see, the channel owner Mark is a paranormal investigator. He claims that an evil spirit, possibly even a demonic force, followed him home after one of his investigations. I've heard of that kind of crap happening before, so... It's possible, or it could be fake, I don't know. He says that the spirit now haunts his home and terrorizes him on a daily basis. Come on. You think something's down here? He has set up a motion-activated camera in his basement to record. Oh, what is that? Is that a cardboard cutout? Why do you have that in your house? He claims that he was upstairs in his house when he was attacked by the shadow figure. He says that he felt a hard slap across his face and darted into his bedroom to hide with his very freaked out To hide? You think it can't go through doors? Top dog, Terry. Mark began recording with his Top dog? His phone. Are you okay? Are you okay? It was probably one reason why I'd never want to do paranormal, like, actual going out and doing these kind of things. I couldn't risk this kind of crap happening. This would ruin your life. Because if you go and tell, like, some people what's going on, a lot of people won't believe you, and they'll probably lock you in a psych ward. Thank you. You're a good boy, eh? Poor dog has to deal with your shenanigans. You wait here. Yeah, I be there. Okay, I be right back. Come right back. Don't open the door. Don't open it. I'll freak that man. I can't. I don't want to look. Oh, it is moving. I think the title is pretty right. It'll scare anyone, and it's freaking scaring me. I don't want this. My heart rate's going pretty fast. Ugh. Why do you have a painting, a picture of this on your wall? This isn't a normal picture. That's terrifying. You trying to make your house creepier than it should be? Oh my goodness. Duh! I, I, I take it this is your door to leave. I think you should probably book it and leave. Like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. Sounds like it's upstairs with you, the washing machine. It sounds really close. Freak that! Freak that! See, he couldn't even move because it's following him. So he, if he moved to a different place, it'd still be there. It'd still follow him. So yeah, it looks like you're in a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle. Well, you know, a little bit of a situation here. Oh 
With all of the creepy activity going on, Mark decides to retreat back upstairs. But meanwhile, his basement camera records something truly bizarre that occurs at the same time. Whoa, you see that? The little black thing flying around. Now, the strange noises could possibly be explained as, well, anything. But just what is this? Let me know what you think. You can watch Mark's continuing story along with frequent updates over on his channel, Donnie Drunkard. In the sh That was a creepy one. That was a creepy one. Now, it could be fake. Is anything on the internet? It could be fake. But it could also be real, because I've heard of stuff like this happening before where they'll follow you home. And, uh, yeah, this is why I don't go outside, and this is why I don't do those kind of things. I don't freaking need that. I don't need that in my life. I don't need that extra stress. Also, Drunkard is the last name for a YouTube channel. You might want to change that, but hey, you know, you do you, I guess. Shadows. Over on the YouTube channel, The Abandoned Prepper, an urban explorer named Adam checks out creepy abandoned houses and locations in Wales. Now, it should be noted that Adam is not a ghost hunter, but when he explores a place called the Summer House, which... Oh, what the frick? I'm getting this weird taste in my mouth. And my internet's cut out. Oh my goodness. All right, I apologize for that. Uh, I was actually gone for quite a while, but I got some... Uh, Cranberry juice to help wash away that flavor. As a dark history, things get a bit weird. So the owner of this house bought it for his son. As the son was moving in, he actually crashed his car and died. Oh, rip. And then uh, didn't end up moving in. You don't say. So yeah, the guy said it was cursed and didn't want to move in. Yeah, I'll just have a quick look. You could say that, but how was it when the guy didn't even move in for him to know? Look up these stairs. From the rotten floors to the decomposing walls, it's obvious that the large house has been abandoned and neglected for many years. Long As Adam time. makes his way around the premises, he begins to get the sense that he might not be alone. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's weird. I can hear something. I'm guessing it's just the wind. But things get stranger. Without even noticing, Adam catches this. Oh no. Oh no. Right. Here we go. Did you see it? No. Watch again. Where? Oh, oh my goodness. And this isn't Adam's only encounter with whoever or whatever this is. While exploring the pool area, he catches some movement out of the corner of his eye. And then the, the pool. So either someone's living there, like in a homeless person maybe, or it's some other kind of entity, you know, who knows. Either way, don't go trespassing. What was that? That was what? Oh. He freaking saw it. The pool? What was that? Adam decides to make his way out. Oh, good decision on his part there. Good decision. What I want to know is why the um, the owner didn't like try to sell the place after you know the, the his son crashed or whatever. I mean, why would you just keep it? Why why wouldn't you sell it? It was probably in good condition at that time. Why wouldn't you just sell it? All right, guys. Oh, my head's gone. I, I thought I seen something in the window, so I, I looked back on my footage, and then, I don't know, I seen a shadow go past the window, so I've just f***ing lagged it. I, I wasn't going to stick around, guys, I'm not, I'm not a f***ing ghost hunter, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, was this just another explorer, or perhaps a homeless person lurking in the shadows? Or did Adam catch something paranormal on camera? I think it's probably something paranormal. Now the reason why I say that is because most of the time, if it was a homeless person, don't think they'd be sticking their head out around the corner like that, or at least that far. And they wouldn't do it multiple times. Like if, I guess if they know you're there, 
They're probably gonna go hide or something like that. But paranormal stuff, they, they like to be seen on camera. So it's probably something more paranormal. You decide. You can check out Adam's channel. And I don't understand why the owner of this house wouldn't just sell it, like when his son passed away. Deconstruction. This next clip is from a Chinese ghost hunter named Xiao Long, who broadcasts his investigations live on a Chinese streaming service. Xiao Long and his friend are exploring an abandoned building that is said to be haunted by the ghost of a construction worker who lost his life while working on the building. As they begin their investigation, creepy things start to happen immediately. Yeah, what's going on? What they see? Is there someone there? <laughs> He's getting mad. Could you imagine that? Just walking into a place and you just see that? Like someone walk by, like a construction worker? Like, what the frig is that? Oh, that'd be terrifying. I'm getting chills right now. One of the explorers swears that he saw a worker dressed in construction clothes walk through the lobby downstairs. But his friend doesn't seem to believe him. He shrugs it off and they continue their investigation. <laughs> What to happen? What the frig just happened? Oh, something fell. Was that from the roof? Freaking dogs barking. Oh, his friends got some uh, big cojones to do that. If I freaking thought. I saw, you know, a construction worker who was, you know, said to be like a paranormal thing in a toilet. I wouldn't go and bust down the door. I would run. Do you hear my dog barking like a freaking lunatic? Okay, <laughs> What's that thing wrong with you? Is he saying that to his friend? Does he still think his friend's messing with him? Yeah, so far it looks like the friend is still messing because the other guy hasn't seen anything. Again, the same explorer claims to have seen someone, but again, his friend thinks he's just being hysterical. Now, before we go any further, I should point out that unlike the Saudi Arabian ghost hunters who pray to ward off evil spirits, the Chinese believe that cursing and acting angry will scare away evil ghosts and demons. And you'll see what I mean. So far, it's just been the other guy who's seen these things, right? So the, this guy who's recording... I want oh. Holy <laughs> He saw it. I saw it too. That's crazy. He freaking saw it. <laughs> imagine what his friend is thinking. Like, imagine he's because he did. His friend didn't see it. His friend was bent over in the opposite direction. Imagine you're just bending over and your your, your friend right here starts screaming randomly. Like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I saw it right there. <laughs> yeah, what are you screaming about? <laughs> 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 
，操你妈，有人扔我，四百万，那我有人儿，我告诉你有人，操你妈，有人儿，出来。It does not sound like they're angry. It sounds like they're very scared. Oh, he's going closer to it. Is it that cold there? Like, why is there so much? Or is he just vaping? What the freak is going on? It looks like it. I think it might be just that cold. Like his breath is that. How cold is it here? I'm too afraid. Oh, is that a helmet construction hat on the ground? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. So they saw someone there with that red hat on, and then it's just the hat on the ground. Oh, that's wild. Oh, this is too much for me, man. Again, one of the explorers sees what looks like a man in a red hard hat peering from behind a door. What do you mean, yet again? That's a f he only saw it once. This time, he even manages to capture it on camera. But yet again, his friend doesn't believe him. That is, until everything suddenly takes a terrifying turn. Wait, what? What do you mean his friend didn't believe him? Turn. Okay, so I guess they're into the room now where that helmet is. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's the ceiling falling down. I want to scream, you man! 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 Why are you running? Well, there's an entity there messing with you. I won't, don't blame him for running. You can see parts of the ceiling falling down in there. Wait, what just happened? He fell through the floor? Oh, that's crazy. He freaking fell through the floor. How did that happen? Oh, that's crazy. As they make their escape, the building seems to be crashing down all around them. One of them falls right through an open hole in the floor. Luckily, He's probably running so fast and not looking down. So he's probably looking straight and didn't see the hole. They eventually managed to make it outside the building to safety. So, what do you think? I think they're uh, pretty ballsy going and confronting it. Did they catch extreme footage of an angry construction worker ghost on their live stream? <laughs> or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It's a lot harder to hoax something that's on a lot live stream. It's a lot harder to do that, so I do not think it's a hoax. You decide. False sense of security. In a recent viral video, a night security guard at a supermarket in Sao Paulo, Brazil, says that he saw some odd activity on the surveillance cameras in the parking garage. He went down to investigate, and it did not go well. <laughs> Yeah, I, there's another, I hate security camera, I hate security guard videos because this seems to happen a lot where security guards get messed with. And it'd be horrible doing this as a job because no one else is around. Kind of, is he filming this on an Android? Why is the quality so bad? 
And if it is an Android, it has to be an older one. Because the new Android, the newest one that came out, I think it's got like a 106 megapixel camera. That is insane. That is insane. 106? That's better than a lot of like actual like DSLR cameras. Quem é que tá aí? Você mexeu o carro, mexe agora. Mexe esse carrinho que tá aí. Barely see what's going on. Oh. Oh, the quality got a little bit better. Maybe it had to focus or something. I don't know. Oh, there it's moving. Oh, yeah. Whoosh. Wow, I would uh, I would book it if I saw that. I don't get paid enough to deal with that. You know, I'd get paid to uh, to look out for people trespassing, not freaking entities. Did you guys see that? Oh, he was talking to the camera. I thought there was other people there with him. A moto do partido. Oh my goodness. Carts seem to be moving on their own, and weirdest of all, a motorcycle starts up with no one around. So did this security guard actually capture paranormal activity in the supermarket parking garage? Or is this all just a hoax with fishing line and remote starters? Yeah, it could see it could easily be a hoax, and as a security guard, you know, you might not have anything better to do with your time than to do this kind of stuff. So this could be a hoax. But then again, it could also be real. But see, if, if I don't know. If I were in this situation and I saw this stuff, I'd book it. I'd freaking book it. Like, I don't want to deal with this. But the guy just seems to be, like, he's, he's acting really calm, which is weird to me. So you I don't decide. Know. Anyway, though, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, this is pretty, pretty creepy. And, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new. And subscribe to the other family. Make sure you guys also go subscribe to Nukes to Top 5. That link's in the description. And, uh, yeah, I think there are actually a bunch of YouTubers in here. I'll try to link them in the description as well. And uh, without any further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Boop!